the Apple HomePod is, quite frankly, joke of a product. Let me tell you why. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. <laughs> tech so honest it hurts. Ow. If this is your first time here. Welcome. Thank you. Please come back again. Commercial over. So, HomePod. Man. Sometimes Apple just really ticks me off. First, let's walk through the features and, and then I'll tell you why it's an absolute joke and insulting to me personally and anybody who actually cares about audio. So let's go. The HomePod has the A8 chip that was in the iPhone 6. It has a high excursion woofer. That means it can like move out more. Doesn't this, it does not say what size the woofer is. Does it say in the technical speculos? It doesn't say anywhere on the website what size the woofer is. It doesn't say anywhere on the website what size the tweeters are. It says there are seven tweeters in this uh, seamless mesh fabric. I guess, that's cool. Six microphone array, so that Siri can hear you better when she doesn't execute anything that you ask her to. Or him, if you go with the him Siri. It's got those seven tweeters, it's got the AA chip so it can, it can like alter the sound and make it come out into the room more than it goes into the wall and whatever, I don't care. I don't care. That's not a feature that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for intelligence in my speakers. I'm looking for speakers that sound good to my ears and that have a rich feature set which I can actually control and enjoy. But I know that this thing is not designed for anyone who cares about audio whatsoever. High quality audio. <laughs> but wait, it gets better. It gets better. Okay, so does have some features. It does have some features. It has create stereo sound with a second HomePod. So if you have $700, you can buy two HomePods and you could connect them together through the magic of uh, something. And then you can have stereo, which stereo is awesome. Sonos has long had this feature. Sonos, it allows you to pair any two of its devices together to get a stereo sound field, which is the only real way to listen to music. But wait, that's coming later this year. We might as well just say it's coming in like summer of 2019 because Apple never meets these deadlines with audio products. And it has AirPlay too. You can add more HomePods to other rooms and then you can link them all together and listen everywhere or listen to something in one room and something else in another room. Oh, that's awesome. Because Sonos has done that for many, many years. That's the whole purpose of a Sonos system. But wait! <laughs> That's coming later this year as well. Awesome! So we, we're supposed to pay $350 for this product that cannot do the things that its competition can do. This thing is not competing with Google Home or Amazon Electra. It is competing with Sonos and other products like Sonos, but Sonos in particular, because Sonos has cornered the market. They have won the game when it comes to quality networked sound for the whole house. I've used Sonos systems in the past and they do sound quite good. And if you have a stereo pair of even the Sonos Play Ones, that I would be satisfied with that as like my critical listening hang out in the living room and just chill to some music. But the HomePod doesn't have any of that. Not yet. Later this year. Or sometime next year. At least if you can't pair them and if you can't network them, maybe you've got all kinds of opportunities to listen to whatever you want on the, on the HomePod. But no. As far as anything on this web page or anything else that I've read tells me, the only thing you can do is listen to Apple Music that you have to subscribe to. So you got a $350 speaker that you then have to have a subscription service to really listen to anything. 
And it has to be Apple Music. It can't be Spotify, it can't be Tidal, it can't be Pandora, it can't be anything else but Apple Music. In this day and age, to release a device that people are going to use in their, in their homes and tell them they can only choose your service? <laughs> I gotta, Apple's got a set of balls. That much is for sure. Unbelievable. But wait! You don't have to have an Apple Music subscription. You can listen to your own music as long as you upload it to the Apple iCloud, iTunes, whatever, and then pay $25 a year to have your stuff stored in their cloud so that you can access it when it's actually on your computer and it could be just, you know, some kind of network attached storage or... No. No. As far as anything tells me here, you can't do any of that. You gotta pay Apple for the speaker, for the service, to get the music that you wanna listen to. But once you get the music, you can do things like have Siri be your DJ. There's nothing in the world that I want less than for Siri to be my DJ. I don't want Siri to play 90s hip hop for me. I don't want Siri to, Siri to play something chill for me. I don't want Siri doing anything for me because nine times out of 10, Siri doesn't do anything. But at least she has six microphones so she can hear you better when she's unable to do what you ask. You can connect it to your HomeKit devices around your, you know, all the smart stuff that you've got and you can tell Siri to turn on the lights and you can tell Siri to text somebody and you can do all that, but you can't have a different music service than Apple Music. You can't connect these things stereo. You can't put multiple devices in different rooms and network. You can't do any of that. You gotta wait till next year, but they released it to Today, pre-orders, it's coming on the 9th. It takes a lot of balls to release a product that isn't finished, that doesn't do what your competitors have done for about a decade, and try and convince people that it's something they should actually purchase. Some people are like, oh yeah, but it's supposed to sound better than Sonos. I doubt it can sound that much better than Sonos. Maybe I'll be wrong. I am going to get one to review on the channel as much as I don't really want to because it is just an insulting piece of crap. But I'll get one. I'll review it. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll find that the HomePod has suddenly changed the way music is listened to. No, I won't. I won't. Are you getting a HomePod? Are you? Did you order one today? Are you going to pick one up whenever they go on sale? Because they haven't sold out yet, as far as I know. This is the stuff that really pisses me off about Apple. Apple releases these day late, dollar short, way too expensive devices that don't do what the competition does. And they have the hubris to tell us how amazing it'll be. Now, the Apple HomePod is just a freaking piece of crap in a nice skin. You let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I have strong feelings, if you can't tell, about the value proposition of a HomePod over anything else that does what the HomePod is supposed to do. You could get two Sonos Play 1s, run them in stereo, and have a great listening experience. And if you get the older ones, you can get them for $149 a piece. If you get the newer ones that have Amazon Electra, then you could pay an extra $400. $199 a piece. HomePod, one size fits all. And that size isn't very big. It's six inches tall. It's five inches wide. It's a tiny little thing. It's a tiny thing. Ugh. I'm just so freaking frustrated. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's have a boisterous discussion. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm right. I will uh, be down there discussing with you in the most courteous way possible. And I hope that you will too. Thanks again for being here. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest, it hurts. Yeah! Until the next time, I'm out.